Okay, so let's go through the mechanism for this reaction. So you started with the electron pushing arrows. That's good. I think some of you might have forgotten the second arrow. Remember, we have to show what's happening to the electrons over here. We've learned that uh, pi bonds, carbon-carbon uh, pi bonds, are nucleophiles, so these arrows make sense. Um, why does the positive charge end up over here? Because this is more substituted. If you wanted to, you could show the new hydrogen over here, but that's not necessarily necessary. You can put that in or not. This started with only one hydrogen, right? And now it's got two. But it's a matter of taste whether you draw those or not. One thing that's crucial, though, is you need to ask yourself, um, after all, what was the geometry of this carbon? Trigonal planar. And what's the geometry of this carbon? Tetrahedral. Tetrahedral. Anytime you're forming something tetrahedral, we have to ask if it's going to form a stereocenter. Well, is this going to be a stereocenter? No. No. So we don't need to worry about the geometry here. Since this is not a stereocenter, we don't need to worry about the geometry when the hydrogen attaches over here. Why is that tetrahedral? Um, well, how many atoms is it attached to? Three. How many hidden hydrogens are there here? This one here. Maybe you might be looking at this one over here. So I'm sorry. To start with, I wanted to look at this bottom carbon over here, the one that I'm actually pointing to. Yeah, we'll talk about the top carbon in a second, but both of these carbons are important. We have to look at both of these carbons. So this bottom carbon started off as trigonal planar, um, and now this bottom carbon here is tetrahedral. But is it a stereocenter? No. So we don't need to put in dashes and wedges. Okay. Now, uh, let's see. How, how about this carbon here? What's the geometry of this carbon in this picture? Trigonal planar. Trigonal planar. But what's, its, what's going to be its geometry in this picture? Tetrahedral. So we do need to think about stereochemistry. Um, and uh, is this going to be forming a stereocenter? No. So here's what it's going to look like, right? And we'll still have the old methyl group from before and the iodine. That's two of the same. Ah, that's right. My, oh, so I thought it was going to be a stereocenter, but it's not. That's a good point. I thought it would be a stereocenter, but it's not. Because this path around the ring is the same as this path around the ring. Okay. So are we going to get one product when the iodine attacks here or two? One. One. So I think that a couple of you actually drew two separate products, one on a wedge and one on a dash. You might lose all the credit for that because redundant products cancel out correct products. I, I think I, I was making the same mistake in my head. I actually thought there would be two products too, uh, but we were wrong because this is not going to be a stereocenter over here. Um, it's okay to draw this with wedges and dashes, but you should only draw one. Uh, and, as long, and you might as well not even put in the wedges and dashes since the geometry is interesting here. The important thing though is there's only going to be one product because this is not a stereocenter. Okay, not quite what I intended, but anyway that was a good uh, practice exercise. So there's only one product here. We know that when we attack something trigonal planar, that gives us a maximum of two stereoisomers. But if we're not forming a stereocenter, there's only one that we can actually form. Alright, so this was our uh, final answer. Uh, over here. And again, uh, we would definitely lose credit if we drew two separate pictures over here, unless we erase one of them. All right, and again, this is our hydrohalogenation reaction. This is just more practice in the same reaction we had on the board a, a second ago. All right, so again, you got to practice this over and over until it seems kind of like uh, second nature. Okay, um, but if that makes sense, we can go on to the next reaction. Okay.